In my last video, I used Fritzing to create electronic circuit where we control 7 segment display with shift register. Having done that, I created the design of the custom PCB for it. After making sure I did not miss any connections and checking that all physical components would fit on that board, I placed the order on a manufacturer website. The shipment was to last up to a month, but lo and behold, the parcel arrived at my doorstep in less than two weeks. Let's look inside. There are some other printed circuit boards which I ordered for a different project. Nicely packaged, hermetically sealed. Haha, <laughs> here are the little ones. They look okay, so let's get cracking. It was a very simple design. The quality of the board looks okay. Also, after I opened a sealed package, I realized that I got seven pieces where I actually paid for five. We like that. Now it's time to do a final rehearsal. Both the display and shift register socket fit perfectly. I will not solder the display onto the board. Instead, I would solder the female header pins so I can plug the display in. It will give me an opportunity to unplug it later and use it for other projects. The last thing I need is a six header male pin for connectivity to Arduino and other daisy chained boards like this one. I will now take the multimeter and do a quick double check of all the connections. Now it's time to do some soldering. Shift register socket goes first. Then female pins to create the socket for 7 segment display. Now it's time for male pins for Arduino connectivity. I will finish with soldering on 8 220 ohm resistors. Done. The module looks great, but will it work? With dip socket and pins in place, we can now plug in the display and shift register. Everything fits perfectly. Here's the pinout description of the module starting from the right. We have ground, VCC, overflow pin, clock pin, latch pin and data pin. Now I will connect the module to Arduino. I'm using the code I wrote for the shift register video I posted a few months back. I will not explain this in detail, like I normally do. If you are not sure how this works, I would encourage you to watch that video. Let's power on the Arduino. It works. It would be a bit embarrassing if it wasn't. Ok, so now let's introduce the second module and connect it in the exact same way.
After we power Arduino on, we see exactly the same sequence of digits displayed on both displays. Now I disconnect data pin of the second module from Arduino and connect it to the overflow pin of the first module. This way we daisy chain the two modules. When the data inserted to the first shift register overflows, it gets shifted out to the second one. Now when we power Arduino on, we would see the sequence of numbers displayed on both modules, but the second one lags behind by one. Everything works as expected. Really pleased with the result. In the course of this and my previous video, we are able to turn this breadboard prototype into this custom PCB design. And just as we are able to chain connect shift registers on the breadboard, we were able to chain connect those custom modules as well. Now it's time for something I have not done before. With extra printed circuit boards delivered, let's have a competition. Here is the few questions I would like you to answer. Whoever answers them first will receive one of those boards from me. If there would be a significant number of replies with correct answers, I may draw another winner, which would also get that board by mail. Please send your answers to the following email address. Ideally with a photo, that is of course if you are not over concerns about privacy protection. We have reached the end of this video. Before I go, let me announce another major milestones in the lifespan of my channel. If you look closely at my homepage, you would see the link to my Patreon website. I provide this link in every single video of mine as well. I have not posted much content there for very simple reason. There was no patrons. Well, now I officially have my first patron. Bayese. Thank you very much for supporting me. Let me put another credit alongside Bayese's name. This one may be for you. Today I posted the first bonus material on my Patreon website, starting with some behind the scenes footage, as well as the first draft of the video that will premiere in a week and a half. This is the complete guide to creating your own world clock. Ok, enough of this jibber jabber. I will see you guys in my next video in a week or so, or if you want this to be sooner, visit my Patreon website. Over and out.